guys, what is up? Joe here, back at it again with another tech review video. And today I am here at the Nikon Experience Zone at the Anex SM North EDSA to check out Nikon's camera and also do a review of the Field World 5 inch field monitor. All right, so let's go and start this video. Just a disclaimer, this review is based on my own personal thoughts and opinion. So the things that I will talk about in this review will be my own personal experience as a first time user. So let's get started with the unboxing. Feel World has a nice solid packaging, which in the inside is the carrying case that stores all the gears that you need for using the product. Inside you have the five inch field monitor, a sunshade which you can use when you're shooting in a bright situation, guide manual for reference, a cold shoe mounted tilt arm, a micro HDMI cable, and a HDMI cable. So that's basically what's in the package. The product is a 1080p full HD field monitor which supports 4K HDMI input or output. It is helpful to give the operator to view the histogram, false colors, focusing the camera, anamorphic mode, and many advanced settings that are pretty versatile in any shooting situations. Weighing only 142.5 grams, its portable and lightweight design is ideal for shooters who are always on the go, allowing you to mount it on your DSLR or even a gimbal stabilizer. On top of the monitor are the menu controls that you can adjust to your liking, and the settings will automatically save every time you turn on the monitor again for your next shoot. On the side, you have the HDMI input and loop output, which allows you to connect to the camera and other external viewing such as monitors, projectors, and even live feeds. Also, you have a DC in slot on the side. Right on the bottom of the monitor are the DC out slot to power your camera, a 3.5mm earphone slot, and a USB upgrade. Powering the device, you can either use the DC in slot or use an external battery like the Canon LP E6 battery or the Sony F series batteries. I find the tilt arm very convenient, especially you can rotate the monitor 360 degrees. You can also mount accessories on the side as it has a cold shoe mount for that extra gear you want to attach. The monitor has three quarter inch mount points on the top, bottom, and right side of the monitor that you can use for different kinds of installation. I like that the sunshade has a velcro material that makes installation and disassembling fast and easy. For me, the only thing that I had struggled with this gear is navigating to the settings. I think since I got used to the touchscreen features of Nikon, I tend to forget that the field monitor is not touchscreen. Also, you need to get used to the interface, which I feel anyone can do if you keep on using the product over time. Overall, I really like the product. It's not bad for anyone looking into buying a field monitor that is around $200. With that price, you are getting a lot in the package. I really enjoy the fact that it's not that heavy to carry and I do recommend to anyone who tends to travel a lot in their shoes. Okay guys, this ends my tech review video for today. Thank you guys for watching and if you want to be updated in my next tech video, go ahead and follow my social media pages such as Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. This is Joe Serrano signing out and I will see you in my next video. See you guys!